free trade negotiations conclude, there is the opportunity for them to link into one huge Asia-Pacific free trade zone that would rival the European Union. Uh, that's the exciting prospect that lies ahead of us. Mm -hmm. With all these uh, agreements and treaties and pacts, people often describe the region as a spaghetti ball because it's getting <laughs> complicated. So. A noodle bowl, I would have thought. <laughs> You don't see it as that complicated? Oh, yes, it is complicated at present. Of course, the uh, Nirvana would be a, a multilateral global free trade agreement. But with the failure of the WTO to be able to conclude such multilateral or global agreements, it's been left to individual countries to pursue bilateral or trilateral or uh, plurilateral agreements or regional agreements. And the, the patchwork, uh, has emerged, but then there's this opportunity for all of these agreements to be coordinated so that you then get a, a much um, broader picture. And once countries have signed up to some of these high quality comprehensive free trade agreements, it should be easier for us to um, do that in a more regional sense. Okay. That's the plan anyway.